Hey guys, it's Doc. Today we're gonna do a humic acid video. I'm gonna teach you a little bit and I'm gonna go put it down. So hold on one sec. Hey guys, and the annoying part of this video, of course, besides the bugs, is when I say if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. That's the annoying part. And after you subscribe, make sure you click the notification bell. That way you get notified when I put up a new video. A lot of people don't know about the notification bell. Make sure your bell's on too. Okay, I could just go out and shoot a video of me putting down humic acid. That'd be kind of boring. It wouldn't help you out a lot, so I'm gonna teach you a little bit about humic acid. First important point before I read you something is make sure before you buy the humic acid, there's gonna be a link in the description down below. I'll have the link to the correct product there. So many people buy the wrong stuff or they pay too much. The link that I post is direct manufacturer link. So Anderson's post it either for me or post it up there and I go directly to that link. Don't buy from a third party retailer. Wait for that link. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is let's explain humic. Let me read something to you real quick. When plants and animals die, their molecules become available in the soil for use by other organisms. Bacteria, fungi, protozoa, earthworms, even insects consume the fresh material. After long periods of time, when the decaying matter has been eaten and transformed through several cycles, what remains is a sturdy material that resists further decomposition called humus. This process is referred to as humification. Humus is a general term that refers to a highly complex, stable compounds that are resistant to further decomposition, and humus consists of three components, humic acids, fulvic acids, and humin. Humic and fulvic acids have proven invaluable for healthy soil environments, particularly for their contributions to soil structure and the transfer of nutrients between soil and plants. Humic acid is not a fertilizer. It acts as a conditioner for the soil and as a biocatalyst and biostimulant for the plant. Compared to other organic products, humic acid enhances plant growth, biomass production, and fertility of the soil. All right, I've explained humic. And basically, we don't have a bunch of animals dying in our yards and a bunch of crops and leaves falling and rotting on our yards for thousands of years. So essentially, if you were to take a whole bunch of animals and plants and debris and throw it into a big pit and let it sit there, rot, and work down for five or 10,000 years or whatever, and then go dig that up, you would have a beautiful source of basically solid carbon and humus. And we want to take that and put it onto our lawn because it will help our soil hold the nutrients better and it will help the plants actually use those nutrients better. That's the whole point to humic acid treatment. A couple of quick notes. You could put down as much humic as you want. I'm putting down double the manufacturer's rate today probably. I think it's one to two pounds, one to three pounds or something. I'm putting out double. I had to go on Amazon, order some more, and I'm just going to be able to do the front today. I love to put down a lot of humic. You can put it down any time of the year. You can put it down with anything else. Humic has no negative side effects. There's no food in it. There's no nitrogen in it. It's a soil improvement. Uh, there's no negative impact from humic whatsoever. So you can dump it out on your lawn anytime you want and you can put it out. Put down pre-emergent, put out humic. Put out fertilizer, put out humic. You don't have to wait. Make that clear. Anytime you want with anything you want, dump it out can't put enough humic on your lawn. That's whatever you can afford, that's what you put up. Uh, the other important thing is, the product that I link to is by far the best humic acid on the market, hands down, period. Both in the quality of the product and the way that it goes out. Now don't forget, these DG particles, these DG particles, once you put it out, as soon as water hits it, as soon as water hits it, it's going to almost sort of explode and it dissolves. One little particle dissolves into thousands of particles and goes right into your lawn. It's there, boom. So you can put it out before rain, it doesn't matter. The rain will hit it and it'll just, it'll just dig right into the soil. I'm gonna be spraying super juice tomorrow on my lawn. I haven't sprayed it in close to about a week, week and a half. And so I'm gonna put my humic out today. It's a little bit windy, a little bit chilly, so I figured walking would be good. So I'm gonna put some humic out on the front and I'm hoping my other bag I ordered shows up from Amazon today. And that way I can do the back out here too. So uh, let me just go show you what I'm doing out here.
Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do Okay guys, so uh, as you notice, I blew all the particles away. Real important to do that because uh, they don't stain the driveway. They just turn into the black spots on them, almost like a fine, fine powder. So make sure that you actually blow the particles off your sidewalks and driveways when you're done. You don't have to water it in if you don't want, you can. Uh, the, rain will just, the rain will just go ahead and loosen it up. Now I'm getting ready to mix some super juice. So I'm gonna show you a real quick tip on the super juice. And uh, before I do that, remember, go to the website. There's a link below, and I link to the direct manufacturer's link for both the larger bag and the smaller bag. You can get it either way, so make sure you do that. The reason why I stress that is there was a third-party retailer that um, was buying this stuff and jacking the price up on it, and that wasn't cool. So make sure you use that link that I showed. Well, my garage is a mess right now, but so be it. Just a couple quick tips on the Super Juice. Of course, Super Juice is a dry supplement mix that you spray on your lawn. Um, if you didn't see it, I put up a link on how to make sure that these bottles are flowing rightly using a small drill bit. Today, I'm gonna show you, I also use a paint mixer. But what I always do, if I'm getting ready to spray Super Juice in a couple hours, this is hot tap water. And all I do... sit for a few minutes come back I'll hit it again so now what I'll do is I'll just dump this bucket through the strainer into my iced tea pitcher then I lift the pitcher up and I put it onto my table so I can fill my bottles and uh, before I fill the bottles I add my green dye you always add your green dye last and that's one of the last things you do because otherwise when you're dumping and pouring the green dye gets everywhere and your spouse wife or husband We'll get all pissed off at you because you're still green on them. Again, the humic that's inside uh, Super Juice is actually a different, it's not humic DG. It's actually a humic e extract that's designed to be water soluble. And you put it in hot water, mix it up, 99% of the particles dissolve. If you let it sit, you know, a while and come back and agitate it, let it sit, come back and agitate it, you can get 100%, but honestly, the few particles that don't dissolve, you don't even, I don't even worry about. I just run them through the strainer and then I throw them in my garden. All right, so let me show you real quick. Just follow up. This is a half a bag of super juice and close to two gallons of water. You can see I have almost zero humic. Known particles. It's basically all dissolved. Again, I just, a little bit patient with it. Hot water, stir it, leave it for a few minutes. Stir it, leave it for a few minutes. 10 minutes later, I come back and all the particles are gone.
UPS guy only brought a little teeny box. The mail lady pulls up. Guess what the mail lady had in her truck? <laughs> she had my two big bags of humic. So I guess that's what that is. That's probably the two big bags there, I'm guessing. All right, so there's the, uh, there's the 40 pound bag and I'm putting the whole 40 pounds on my backyard and I'm guessing my back is just over 10,000 square feet. All right, I don't know if you can see it, but something's on fire back here. <laughs> There's a fire somewhere. So anyways, uh, all my humic is out. The front is done, the back is done. Uh, sprayed all super juice all over the lawn. It's looking pretty good back here. That's about it, guys. I'm worn out now. This old fat guy's tired. <laughs> Again, uh, the dogs come out right after I put everything down. There's nothing dangerous for the dogs, kids, whatever. So, uh, it was a good day, huh? What are you looking at? What? Hey, you got little humic particles there. It's about to play now. All right. So, we'll see you later. We'll see you later. Talk to you later, guys. I'm going to go get something to eat and drink. Doc.